My question is for Nikon and Canon and Sony. So OM Systems beat you again. OM Systems uh, released a camera yesterday with a built-in neutral density gradient filter. Built-in. Yeah, you know what, Look. Scott? What's interesting? <laughs> My new phone has a built-in neutral density gradient filter. Would you believe that? Really? Yeah. My new Samsung phone has a neutral density gradient filter. Is so where are you, Apple? Came out where are you, Apple? Come on. I love the Apple. But honestly, we're, keep up with it. Keep up with it. They all both got titanium, yeah. but that's all they got is titanium. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Give me the neutral right, density so Long story short, how is it that these, you know. I don't. I, I, Apple I'm with you. innovating, right? Apple does in-camera long they exposures do. and yes, all the different yes. stuff and all. And. And Nikon and Canon and Sony are like, it's six more megapixels. It shoots more <laughs> frames per second. Like, oh, God, please put something in there useful. We need an ND. We need a new. We actually need. Here's the thing. The neutral density gradient filter is the filter we actually need the least. I don't even use them anymore. No, no. Um, it, it's That is something that's actually better. Most things are better on camera except for neutral density gradients. It's actually better to do it in Lightroom or in camera raw than it is to do it in real life. In fact, we had a topic, didn't we, what, that, Eric, that we did yeah, like we talked the about most filters. useless filters and yeah. ND it was, gradient. It's a great, a, a neutral density filter is a must, right? That, I mean, for must. us, I mean, that's a must. <clears throat> and I do like the computational neutral density filter because the computational, and I have been using it for years on iPhone, but it takes that third-party app like even longer or something like that to do that yeah. feature. But uh, it's just cool to see people like like uh, you know the OM systems uh, or you know you've got the the Samsung and uh, starting to catch up with the times of going like everybody wants this, so let's put it in the phone because all it's doing is doing the same averaging you could do inside of Photoshop. Yeah. So you could do the math inside of Photoshop if you took thousands of pictures and averaged together the neutral density, you could do that in Photoshop. I mean, if you want to do it, but these cameras are doing it in camera. Like, why yeah. wouldn't you want to do that? 